Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about my go-to monitor for using with an iMac, an Intel NUC, uh, Raspberry Pi, or anything. Just a kind of a general purpose, basic monitor. So this would be like the Toyota Camry of monitors to me. So what I have here is an Asus, and it's a VN284. If you find this video helpful and you plan on buying one at Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we have here a display port cable, a base. This is uh, some kind of uh, archaic cable, VGA. <laughs> this is a stereo audio cable. I'm going to do this off camera. We have an HDMI cable, power cable. Here's the monitor. And we have an instruction manual. So here's the base. This will just slide onto the monitor here. Okay, so that slips over the uh, this arm here and then you slide it on. I'll set it up, take off the protective coating. And then we can tilt it. And we'll look at the sticker here. So this is the uh, VN248QP. It has a narrow frame. It's an IPS display. It's 1080p. It has eye care, whatever that is. It has stereo speakers and it's Energy Star rated. Mm. So if we look at the back, we have a 100 millimeter Visa mount. Let's see if I can turn this over here and we can look. Maybe I should have shown this before I put the base on. Um, oh. We have a display port here, HDMI, VGA, and then we have an audio in, it looks like, and then a headphone out. On the other side, we have power cord. So the reason this is my go-to monitor is because it's a, a 1080p IPS display, so it has good display characteristics, and this has built-in speakers. Um, the Mac Mini has built-in speakers, but this will have a little bit better built-in speakers. And then like the Intel NUC uh, doesn't have built-in speakers, uh, nor does the Raspberry Pi. So I think those pair well with this for a general purpose um, monitor. Now I wouldn't say this is the absolute best monitor ever made. Um, there's certainly probably ones with better speakers in it, or you may want to use external speakers, but this is general purpose. Like I said, this is kind of the Toyota Camry of monitors. It's just kind of a do-all monitor. So I'll show you, this is my first monitor um, of this ASUS, but I'll show you some others I have. So this is an older monitor. Uh, I forget the model number on it, but it's the same design. And this is a uh, yet even older one. So I have here three monitors. So this is the new one. This is the uh, middle one, and this is the oldest. So these two are IPS displays, this one is not but they all share the same kind of base and they're all 1080p and they all contain speakers. So you'll see here on the back of this one I have mounted an Intel NUC. Intel NUCs, at least this, um, these square models come with the uh, plate to mount it on a 100 millimeter uh, Visa mount. So this just slides right in. This one I have um, my Mac Mini. I actually did a whole video on this and I mentioned this monitor I hadn't ordered it yet, but I mentioned this monitor in this video. Is um, This is a Mac Mini stand that connects onto here. And I'm using this slim one foot HDMI cable. I'll put a link in the description of this also. So this monitor, it could also be good for some other things. Here's a Raspberry Pi and I put Velcro on the back and you could use this to attach it to the back of the monitor. You could use this with um, one of these like Nintendo NES uh, classics. So this has HDMI out. So you could get audio um, out to your monitor with that. So if you had you know, a really cheap monitor with no audio, you just wouldn't have audio. This isn't the greatest audio, but it's better than nothing in those situations. You know, I'm not saying you won't need an external um, you know, speaker setup, but um, you know, if you wanted to take this you know, in your RV or 
to a friend's house or put it in a kid's bedroom or something like that. Um, say they're having a sleepover, you want to put this in the bedroom so they can watch a movie on it, it has a little bit of audio to it. You could also say hook up one of these devices like a Fire TV and you'll get video and audio to it. So, also I like that this comes with pretty much all the cables you'll need to hook it into anything. Although, yeah, it doesn't have a mini display port. Like uh, a lot of my Macs use mini display port or HDMI. Um, so you probably need an adapter for that. So while I really like this monitor, I will talk about a couple things I don't like. Is um, it can be hard to plug things in because you have to kind of go upside down under here. There's this flap. So you know some monitors have the connectors on the side. That makes that a little easier. If you just plug it in and leave it, it doesn't really matter. That's not an issue. The other thing, which is actually related to the speakers, is it has these like kind of, um, you know, push buttons on the back. I guess I should turn that around and show you. So it has these push buttons. So you have to reach under here and click them. And you know, I've, I've seen monitors have like touch buttons and things like that. And I have not seen any good buttons on a monitor actually. So they're not great, but they work. Um, you can adjust your speakers here. You know, since I'm talking about this is nice that has speakers in it, it'd be nice if it just had a slider or a, you know, a volume knob on it. It'd be so much easier to use, but it is what it is. So, so that's the uh, Asus VN248QP. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll put a link in the description of this. If you buy it through my Amazon affiliate link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.